In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create an interactive digital word puzzle activity. The first step is to create a puzzle using a free puzzle maker website. An example website that automatically creates word puzzles is puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com. I will add its address in the description for easier access. This website has a puzzle generation tool that allows teachers, students, and parents to create and print customized word searches, crisscross math puzzles, and more. For my demo today, I am going to create a word search puzzle. This is a word game that consists of the letters of words placed in a grid. The objective of this puzzle is to find and mark all the words hidden inside the box. To create the word search puzzle, we have to do the following actions. Enter title. This could be the name of your topic where the words will come from. Enter the size of the word search puzzle. I will retain the default optimum puzzle size which is 15 letters by 15 letters. For puzzle options, I will leave the default value which is to share letters occasionally. The output size is an image. I would like the puzzle to be built using all uppercase letters. The puzzle words will be entered in this text box. I will use commas to separate each word. Remember that any character that is not a letter will be considered a separator. After that, I will press the Create My Puzzle button. If there are unintended offensive words, we can regenerate the puzzle. Here is the result. We can see the puzzle, the words to find, and the instructions. The result page has options to show Answer, Print Puzzle, Copy Puzzle, Copy Answer, and Rebuild Puzzle. I am going to click the Copy Puzzle button. Let's now proceed to the next major step, which is to create the template that will be used as the background of our interactive word search puzzle. I will open Google Slides. Add instructions on what the students will do. For example, I will ask them to search for five words related to our topic. Words can go in any direction. I will explain later in our last step how they can use highlighter tool. I would also like my students to be able to define the terms they will find. So on the right side, I will ask them to put the words and descriptions using the sticky note tool. I will also explain later how to insert a sticky note. Earlier, I copied the puzzle. This time, I am going to press Ctrl V to paste it to this slide. Then I will adjust its size and location. After creating the template, go to the File tab, choose Download, and select PNG. As we can see, it has been downloaded. The third and final step is to create the interactive word puzzle file. We are going to use Google Jamboard for this. Go to jamboard.google.com. Click the plus button to create a new jam. Rename the file. Click set background, then select add image button. We can either browse for the image or we can drag the file here. I will do the second option. At this point, the template in PNG format is now the background of the frame. Students or any users who will answer the puzzle will not be able to move any of the text in the instructions and letters in the puzzle. Let's share the file with other users. We can either enter the individual email addresses or we can go to the get link area to set the permission. If your Google Jamboard account belongs to a domain, you will see your business or school name here. If not, you will only see restricted and anyone with the link options. For my demo, I will select the name of our school and change the settings to editor. I will copy the link and send it to other users. This means anyone from our school domain who has the link to this Jamboard file will be able to answer the puzzle. Suppose this is the screen of another user and he will answer the puzzle. He will follow the instruction, which is to use the highlighter tool. Go to the left side of the screen, select the pen tool, choose highlighter, and pick a color. He will encircle the five words that he will find in the puzzle. On the right side of the screen, he will also follow the instruction which is to define the term found in the puzzle. 
As instructed, he has to use sticky notes. Go to the left side. Select the sticky note tool. On the sticky note window, enter the term in its definition. He can change the color of the sticky note. Once done, click the Save button. He will do the same steps for the other words. If you find this helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Please feel free to leave your comments, questions, or suggestions. Thank you!